any positive weather signs in the coming days. Come well, on. a little bit on Friday, maybe a couple scattered showers. Alan, I don't see any big moisture makers on the way and uh, you know, a, a good soaker. That's not on the table, unfortunately, but a tenth of an inch or more. It's a possibility. Most areas will not, though, maybe southwest North Dakota for Friday. But the last time we did have a tenth of an inch or a wedding rain here, 62 days in Bismarck since August 14th, just over two months. It's been a long time. Got to go back uh, to September here for Minot, Dickinson, Williston and Jamestown. But it has been just a very dry stretch and no doubt warm as well. Case in point for Bismarck here, uh, running about five to five and a half degrees above normal. Only two days so far, the first half of this month running below normal. That would have been today and this past Sunday, but 13 days above normal with the hottest on the 10th of 89 degrees. Radar and satellite, we do see a bit more of a change in the Pacific Northwest. A lot of that moisture, no, we're not going to be getting that, but we are going to see the jet stream diving south, bringing in moisture to the inner mountain west. We might get a little bit, maybe some scraps, but something coming in Friday, especially into southeast Montana, western South Dakota, maybe clipping southwest North Dakota, but for now we're dry with just those high clouds. Meanwhile, temps here cool as east, but we're all going to stay above freezing for tonight. 41 right now in Jamestown. It was 21 this morning there. 29 in Bismarck, 45 right now. And again, mostly in the uh, 35 to 40 degree range for tonight. Still 51 in Williston with that south wind around 10 to 20 miles per hour. It's going to remain breezy all night because we've got low pressure to our west, high pressure to the east here. That's allowing for that southerly wind to continue overnight, keeping those temperatures elevated where it's going to remain above freezing, but still in the 30s here. Look for winds overnight, 10, 20 miles per hour. It'll even pick up more central and eastern North Dakota for the afternoon with temperatures surging into the 70s for most here. Again, we've got fire weather concerns over southwest and southeast North Dakota, a lot of South Dakota as well with that red flag warning. And then with the hottest weather again, back to the 80s in Montana, prior to a cold front moving through, that's going to shift the wind from a southerly direction to a northwest direction for tomorrow afternoon. So again, not good with respect to fire weather, but it should arrive later in the day into the overnight. So tomorrow, Again, most critical southern North Dakota and South Dakota, given the strongest winds. Overnight lows will be above freezing, upper 30s, around 40 degrees here. Highs tomorrow, widespread 60s over the east, 71 in Minot, near 70 in Bismarck, Mandan. will be in the 70s in Mobridge, and again, a pocket of some 80s here in mid-October in eastern Montana, southwest North Dakota as well. I think Bowman, Hedinger, Buffalo. Not far from 80 degrees here for tomorrow. In fact, overnight lows again, as mentioned, above freezing, but upper 30s. Bismarck 68 for a high, but 75 in Dickinson. Notice the wind though, south 15 to 25, maybe gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Near freezing in Bowman, but above, but a high near 80 degrees into the afternoon. Rugby at 64. And again, it's that south wind fire weather. Every day is going to be a critical fire weather day until we get beneficial moisture and a little bit of a glimmer of hope here. A few showers possible for Friday as we drop back into the 50s here. It's not going to do much, but something's better than nothing. Just considering the fact dew points will rise. Moisture in the air also helps. Doesn't always have to rain, but this time that would be a real blessing. Take what we can get. Yeah.